So this is the DLC character Copen from Gunvolt 2, and he attacks very similar to the way he does in that game. He's got Lola, his little robot friend thing, and he's got sort of a bullet dash. It does not do a sort of melee contact damage like it does in that game, as you can see. But um, he does have an angled air dash, and you can freely choose which angle you go at. You can go at a straight one, you can go down, you can go up. It is pretty cool. And if you do multiple air dashes, you can change direction with each dash. It's uh, quite nice once you unlock. And Copa is kind of the most complicated character because he has three bullet types, for one thing. With the kind of two standard shots. I'm not... Like, these two don't feel super necessarily to be different. Like, these are just pretty much two plain shots. And then there's a laser, which is an instant hit weapon, because it's, you know, a laser. It only shoots one at a time, but you don't really need multiple lasers, because you can just mash. So, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I tend to prefer the regular shot, just because you can customize it. But the laser is... It's pretty unique, because no other shot will actually go instantly like that. So the interesting thing about Lola is that she has her own set of equipment completely. So she can separately allow uh, diagonal shots. She can have a charge attack, which her charge attacks are different than um, the usual ones. So you can either mash or you can fully charge. Rapid attack. And there's target scan, which is an... Um, auto attack sort of deal where she can just automatically attack things and she has three different formations you can do you can go behind you can go in front or you can go all around which um, this is the most effective in terms of getting burst attacks because one problem you will have with Lola especially if you set her to manual um, I don't have enough CP for that uh, let's drop the damage down the main issue with Lola, that's right, Parker, is that she does a very good job of hitting enemies on the automatic mode uh, that are outside of your burst range. In fact, even in this Phalanx thing, um, she will get non-burst shots. She's the only... <laughs> Copen is the only hard mode DLC character that I've played through and not getting almo gotten almost straight S ranks because uh, Lola just kind of ruins the burst chain if you leave her on auto. You can turn her off and uh, use her more manageably, but um, if, if you're playing as Copen, honestly, I would recommend just not worrying as much about score because Lola is very fun to have around, but <laughs> if you try for score, you, you basically just have to turn her off or be extremely careful, which is a shame. And you'll just enjoy her attacks a lot more if you just forget about score. Play Ray for score. Play Copen more for speed, or fun, or whatever. Oh yeah, and Lola just like um, just like Lumen or Jewel, if you prefer, and uh, for Gunvolt, when you're low on HP, you'll get uh, extra damage and I think maybe more defense. I honestly forget. Uh, when you're in low health like this, she'll kind of become her whatever this is called form and help you out, and she will help you. Just like uh, Jewel will, she'll help you th throughout the stage until you die. She doesn't go away after time. So you can just kind of get to low health, heal up, and just enjoy some extra damage through the rest of the stage, which is pretty nice, actually. So another fun thing about Lola is she has parts scattered throughout levels uh, to augment her just like the other abilities. Also, Lola's elements... Let me change the formation so you can see this properly. Lola can change elements separately. And even cooler, her graphics change, her shock graphics change, based on what element she has, which is something I was honestly expecting the regular characters to do, and kind of disappointed they don't. And some of them even have interesting things, like the shock will have this sort of pattern, pattern formation that's going on. But yeah, that, that makes her really fun to use. Um, she just... It's like having a second character helping out. Also, I believe every... Um, every charge shot has its own special effect. Like, that's a triple shot, that's kind of a boomerang. What does heat do? It's just kind of a big piercing fireball. 
So yeah, her <laughs> Lola is just a lot of fun to have around and she can, uh, with auto shot, she can auto hold the charge for you too, which, <laughs> there you go, and she kind of targets for you, like, uh, targets the angle as well, which you can't normally do without, uh, without a skill for that. So yeah, Lola is just very good at cleaning up enemies, so that's pretty much all of the special stuff for Copen. Um, he does not gain, like, Lola's weapon just refills after it expires or just when it's not being fired. Um, Copen isn't like most of the DLC characters where defeating enemies will refill a gauge or anything. Uh, the skill button is just used to fire Lola's weapon. So, allow me to change... Wait, Lola is on freeze, so you need to be press. Let's see how fast we can beat this boss with Lola helping out here. Press. So as you can see, she does run out fairly fast. She she can't mash fire constantly like Copen can, but uh, she's still a good bit of basically free damage that she will do to everything. I'll let Lola get the last shot. Oh, that one homes. That is nice. I didn't know that. You see, that's the fun thing about Lola. All of her different elements act so different, and I wish... Like, Beck kind of has that half going on with his bullet types, but the bullet types don't inherently have an element, so like... Lola works more like I would expect a Mega Man character's elemental shots to work. As you can see, I got an A rank instead of an S rank, because Lola kind of drops the bursts. But uh, she's still a lot of fun to play, and especially if you don't care about score or just enable yourself to push it in the back of your mind. I think you'll really enjoy playing as Copen with Lola.